Meteora, a Greek word that means suspended rocks, is one of the largest and most important complexes of Eastern Orthodox monasteries in Greece, second only to Mount Athos. The six monasteries here are built on natural sandstone rock pillars at the northwestern edge of the plain of Thessaly near the Pineos River and Pundus Mountains in central Greece. The nearest town is Kalambaka. The Meteora is included on the UNESCO World Heritage List. That's the encyclopedia description of Meteora, and it only tells part of the story. Meteora is one of the most stunningly beautiful and otherworldly places on earth. It is reported that over a millennium ago, monks traveled throughout Greece in search of a place where they could build a monastery. Ultimately, 24 monasteries were established at Meteora, though today only six remain. All but one of these is perched atop stone pillars rising hundreds of feet above the plain below. Access to these monasteries for centuries was by rope. If someone wanted to visit the monastery, they would be pulled up hundreds of feet by a pulley system operated by the monks. The ropes were replaced, so the story goes, only when they broke. Today, access to the monasteries is along stone paths from adjoining hills. Photographs do not do justice to this site, but at least you can get a feel for the place with the visual treats we now show you. Of the six monasteries that still exist, five are inhabited by men, one by women. The largest monastery, Metamorphosis, is the one that most pilgrims visit. It has an eerie skull room where many of the former residents still find their abode, at least in part. One of the ironies of Meteora is that the monks who came here centuries ago sought an ascetic life. Now the monasteries have become a tourist attraction, and the town of Kalambaka below the pillars that reach as high as 1,400 feet above the plain has grown up to accommodate visitors. There are plenty of hotels, coffee shops, restaurants, ice cream and candy stores, and trinket shops. In the summer of 2010, I went on my third trip to Meteora, but it was my first visit to the Monastery of St. Stephen, or Stefanu. This monastery is the only one inhabited by nuns. There are dozens of Greek New Testament manuscripts in Meteora, most of them at the great monastery Metamorphosis. The Institute for New Testament Textual Research, or INTF, in Münster, Germany, has cataloged these. There are 45 at Metamorphosis, 9 at Varlam, and 9 manuscripts at Stefanu, for a total of 63. Of the 9 New Testament manuscripts at the Monastery of St. Stephen that INTF has cataloged, the earliest is from the 11th century. A four-man team from the Center for the Study of New Testament Manuscripts visited the monastery in May 2010. In our visit, we came across two others prominently displayed in their museum. We have been able to identify one of them as a manuscript from the 7th century which has leaves from Luke's Gospel. You can read more about this discovery if you visit csntm.org and search for uncatalogued manuscripts at Stefanu Meteora. <laughs>